Welcome to Shadow Flight Tech don't forget to like and subscribe. Boeing is working on bringing a real, working force field to military vehicles, using plasma to deflect shock waves from explosions. It may not be the stuff of Starfleet just yet, but the shield, outlined in a patent application called, for shockwave attenuation via electromagnetic arc, could save some lives nonetheless. A sensor onboard a land vehicle equipped with this technology would sense the blast. The system would then use an arc generator to create a protective energy barrier, changing the air around it to lessen the impact of an explosion shock wave through temperature variations and air density changes. This early attempt at a plasma shield is pretty limited. It won't protect against physical objects like shrapnel, and the plasma burst probably won't have a long duration because of the intense energy requirements. The burst also could temporarily disable the occupants of the vehicle. As weapons get more sophisticated, researchers are trying to build defense systems that can keep pace, and what's better than a force field? Aerospace and defense giant Boeing has been awarded a patent to develop a force field-like system that could protect military vehicles, from shockwaves following explosions from missiles or improvised explosive devices. Boeing's proposed system involves using a combination of lasers, electricity and microwaves to rapidly heat up the air between the vehicle and a blast. This heat creates a plasma shield that's denser than the surrounding air and able to deflect or absorb the energy from the incoming shockwave. Unlike the impenetrable force fields of science fiction movies, the system is not designed to prevent direct impacts or shrapnel. Instead, Boeing's system is designed to protect a target, which could be a vehicle carrying troops, or a building such as a command center or a hospital, from the aftereffects of nearby explosions. The system, which would likely be mounted on a military vehicle, or some other target, would have sensors that can detect the velocity and shape of an incoming threat. The system would also be able to determine the size and force of the resulting explosion. Its sensors and computers would be able to calculate the time it would take the shock wave from an explosion to reach the target, and from what direction. This is important, as the generated force field would only protect a small region of the target, rather than enveloping the entire thing. Once it has determined the timing of the shock wave, the system's objective is to somehow heat the air around the target, generating what Boeing terms a transient medium that intercepts the shock wave and reduces the energy density. As Evan Ackerman from IEEE Spectrum explains, the general concept is to use an electromagnetic arc to create this intermediate medium in mid-air on very short notice, by using a stupendous amount of energy to heat the air into a plasma. The plasma, which is much hotter than the surrounding air, also has a different density and composition. Boeing believes this plasma field is enough to divert, reflect or absorb the energy passing through. In its application, Boeing outlines several different embodiments of the systems, with different methods for detecting threats, and for rapidly creating the plasma field. One option uses converging lasers or microwave beams to generate a spherical region of plasma. Alternatively, the force field could be generated by firing lasers that induce plasma channels in the air, which provide a path for an electric discharge to create the plasma shield. These same pathways could be created by launching metal pellets that leave conductive trails as they fly. However they decide to make it work, it's a pretty cool idea. We'll be waiting for the first the prototype, which may or may not be able to defend against shock waves from this crazy new weapon. Thank you for listening to Flight Tech News. Don't forget to like and subscribe.